Alright, I really did not want to talk about this, but it has gotten super crazy. So, the Mr. Beast situation sounds pretty true, and a bunch of people have been in a video before of a Mr. Beast video. He has about 3 million... Hundred subscribers, which is insane. And hearing this allegation, it actually sounds 100% true because lots of companies do this. And Mr. Beast first advertised with the feastable bars. And false advertising is illegal of where he's at. And it's not right because he claimed that it was basically healthy and, I quote, not actually healthy because the fact He's selling feastable bars and claiming it's healthy. It's not. It is utterly stupid how he's getting away with this. I get how he has so many subscribers that YouTube actually gets paid for every video he uploads. But I'm not going to sit around here and let YouTube let Mr. B's do all this crap. The fact he's doing this, it's insane. It's stupid. And I don't care if his videos are fake. But faking a donation, that is just 100% wrong. And I'll even tell you guys some other stuff he did. Illegal gambling, illegal lottery, gambling is an addiction, by the way. So, yeah, I mean, it's one thing to gamble in-game money that's not even real money. But real money, on the other hand, that's where I dropped the line. I mean, real money, you actually spend real money. Like, you have to literally get up, off your butt and literally work for that money. That, like, I don't even know how gambling is legal when you're around 21. Like, there's no way some people allow that in countries. But other than that, I just feel like stuff like this should just have a punishment. Because this is utterly... 100% illegal, Mr. Beast. And guess what? Um, it all started with the video. I think it was titled, I worked for Mr. Beast and it's not what it seems. And basically he goes in and talks about the Mr. Beast situation and what's going on behind the scene. And he even uh, knew about the Chris... Tyson situation and not only that but apparently um it, some of the subscriber stuff random subscriber stuff it's nonsense it's actually people that he knows and yeah I seriously don't understand how people haven't called him out for it like they have called him out for it, just like what they did with Ouija Pie. But Mr. Beast, on the other hand, he claimed that he did all this nice stuff. Um, and there's literal proof that he is not a good person. And it's utterly disgusting how Mr. Beast claims to be the wonderful person on the internet. Like, he is 100% the only person with 3 million subscribers that I know of. Like, it's super rare for anyone to have that many subscribers. I mean, no one 
other than him has reached that far. Like, oh my god, how is this possible? I mean, YouTube doesn't even promote my YouTube channel or anyone else who talks about the situation. I mean, it is insane how Mr. Beast is still allowed on the platform after hearing all this situation. And he even sent out a cease and desist letter to someone who started the allegation. And I guess this actually does prove more than you would actually think. Because this proves that Mr. Beast is a fraud. He promotes illegal gambling. Illegal lotteries. And I'm not going to deal with it. I'm absolutely not going to deal with it. I would totally give you $1,000 if you eat all of my fraudables because I am a fraud.